What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends exclusive action figures. So we have two Guardians of the Galaxy characters. So we have first appearance of Star-Lord and Yondu. Both of them look really cool. Love them in their classic looking designs. I believe Star-Lord was a Walmart exclusive and Yondu was a Target exclusive. And much like Yondu, we also had the Target exclusive Astonishing Ant-Man. So we have the Scott Lang version of Ant-Man in that classic outfit, which looks pretty cool. So all of these look pretty awesome. Of course, are on the, we have the artworks on the side of the box and on the back we have the character and their accessories so everything looks really cool with these I'm excited about these characters love the look of them and learning about their first appearances and stuff so I'm just excited about all three of these so let me get them out of the packaging and we'll take a look at them together so let's start off with Star-Lord, who is of course Peter Quill, but this was from his first appearance from the Marvel Preview number 4 in January 1976, and he was born to Meredith Quill and Jason of Sparta, and he grew up a huge fan of science fiction and was excited when he saw a UFO, but the aliens that were on board that UFO ended up killing his mother, so he set out to become an astronaut with NASA so that one day he could get revenge on those aliens, and when he eventually became an astronaut, he was on a space station one day when the alien master of the sun announced it was looking for someone to become the interplanetary hero known as Star-Lord. Quill got the role with the costume that gave him his powers and a gun that will shoot fire, water, earth, and air. And he was sent after the alien race that killed his mother and he ended up killing them all. And with his vengeance fulfilled, he could now accept the mantle as space's new hero known as Star-Lord. So kind of a weird, weird story with him getting revenge and still becoming a hero at the end of the day. But I still think sounds pretty cool overall for an origin and stuff and looks pretty cool here as he first appeared. And overall, I just love this design with the blue and gold. Looks pretty cool. So he's got the helmet on, which he kind of carries on. And I'll show you the more modern figure we have. But still has like the weird helmet design. That one looks like a military helmet, bike helmet, whatever you want to call it. It's just the weird helmet design with the gold on the top of it. And even has some coverings there around his eyes. And I believe the suit allows him to fly in space and stuff. So, you know, he doesn't die and all that. Which I guess is pretty necessary. But then has the all blue spandex outfit with like some white straps. I don't know if it's straps or just part of the design of the outfit with the white going down the arms as well but then he has the gold belt there which is cool has a holster and stuff and again with like star design or whatever with some gold gloves on his hands and gold boots there on his feet with some design that comes up onto his shins there and overall he just looks really cool love the look of this figure like I said it's so classic design wise and stuff and looks really cool and just I absolutely love it just because that and it's an all pinless body so it's got pretty good design and stuff for that and just a really good figure design now for movements we get the head that can twist all the way around and can look down that far and up that far so really good movements there in the neck the shoulders can come up especially force it down a little can go them up to 90 there and rotate around with the butterfly joint as well so you can see that joint there kind of go back and forth we get the bicep twist that'll twist around and the double elbow joint that'll bend up that far so pretty good almost all the way up on itself and the wrist will twist around and flex back and forth then we go to the ab crunches so we have the ab crunch there forward and back so pretty good crunching and twist at the waist now it's hard with this belt if you get it kind of lifted up you can twist it all the way around and then slide it back down then we get the hips that can come up which is a little bit stiff for him at least on this side but can get it up to 90 there and then out to the side we get a thigh twist all the way around the double knee joint that again with the pinless joints is a little bit stiff but once you get it done can bend up and kick himself in the butt so that's good with the shin twist that'll twist all the way around and the foot flex back and forth and twist side to side so good movements as i said a little bit of stiffness there in the knee especially but everything else works out pretty good and overall just looks awesome i do have some minor issues with like pain stuff you can see there so some of the white paint as usual doesn't work out too well but that's about the biggest complaint I have for this now accessory wise we get some additional hands so we get a fist hand and a hand with the trigger finger and you can see with the hands we already have a trigger finger hand and a fist hand and then we get his weapons so first off we have a gun and we have a gun we've seen multiple times just in the basic gray color there so we can put into his holster here on his side down in there or we can put into his hand so let's switch this hand out so there's the gun in his hand and then he also comes with a sword which is pretty cool so we have like a cutlass sword I think this is similar to the one we got with Corsair but looks pretty cool overall so let's put this in his other hand so there's Star-Lord with the gun and the sword that just looks really cool overall for him like I said different unique design for him from his first appearance but it still looks really cool but as I mentioned we do have like the newer version of Star-Lord so this is from the more recent comic book runs like of the 2000s where he now looks like this and pretty similar outfit to what they wore in that new MCU movie but you can still see as the helmet design there and stuff so looks pretty cool overall this is of course how I always picture Peter 
Peter Quill looking from the comics and stuff, but this is pretty cool to have his first appearance design like this because I think it looks really cool and cool weapons and everything and a good body design just overall for him. So pretty awesome to have the version of Star-Lord now. And also from the Guardians of the Galaxy, we have Yondu or Yondu Udanta, which first appeared in the Marvel Super Heroes number 18 from January 1969. And he's from Earth 691 from the 31st century. And he had the role of a hunter for a Centaurian race on Centauri 4, where he met Vance Astro one day when an alien race known as the Badoon overtook the planet and the two escaped on Astro's ship, where they were eventually captured and taken to Earth by the Badoon, which had been captured by them as well, where they eventually escaped with Charlie 20 and Martin X to form the Guardians of the Galaxy to fight against the Badoon. Now Yondu has superhuman strength and senses and has a sixth sense that gives him empathetic relationships with other life forms and overall he looks pretty cool here. I love the design of him with the blue and the orange just looks really cool. Stands out a lot and then of course he has his unique fin on his head so much like we've seen Yondu in the MCU movies. Of course he's all blue skin and has the fin on his head but this one's a huge fin there. Nice orange fin. It's like how it's like curved and bent and stuff like it's made like that so it's not like it got bent up in the packaging or anything it's just designed like that which is pretty cool but then we got his face so again his alien race of the centaurian so blue skin with the pointy ears and stuff there and overall looks pretty cool and then the body again i don't know if he's got like an outfit on or if it's just his body design like i assume the blue because of the skin and stuff would be all skin but don't know if the orange is a part of his outfit so he's got the orange underwear and then the piece coming up on his shoulders where he got the little star logo and stuff so probably from the guardians i'm guessing with the orange continuing down the arm that has the gold body boxes all the way down it which is cool gold strap around his shoulders there probably holds some weapons stuff gold belt around his waist that almost looks like a wrestling title and then gold bands on his arms there so that's cool and then blue legs continue down as you can see unfortunately this leg got all bent up so we'll have to try and fix that it always seems like the pin joints get bent up so much easier than the pinless joints so hopefully with them switching to a lot of more pinless now we won't have that issue as much but yeah this happens a lot with our figures especially old ones but having a new figure and it's already been up like that is pretty crazy and then you just got the orange like Captain America boots as I call him there on his feet so overall a unique design and classic for of course the original Yondu and wish he looked like this in the MCU because I think that'd be pretty fun but still a cool looking figure but we do his movement so his head can twist all the way around there and he can look down that far and up that far so pretty decent movement. it's not the best but it's still pretty good and then we get the shoulders that can come up to 90 has the butterfly joint there that goes back and forth really far back for that almost all the way back there which is crazy and of course can rotate all the way around we get a bicep twist and the double elbow joint that bends up that far so not too bad with a wrist that'll twist around and flex back and forth and then we go to the ab crunches so we have the ab crunch in the middle there so crunch forward and crunch back so pretty decent a little bit of stiffness but nice crunching and twist all the way around at the waist and then we can push the belt back down there the hips can come up to 90 and out to the side a thigh twist all the way around double knee joint that bends up that far to the back not too bad with a shin twist at the top of the boot and the foot flexes back and forth and twists side to side so movement wise he's not absolutely horrible a little bit worse movements than star lord had but like i said just annoying with that leg so it's hard to get him to stand up with that leg trying to get it to stand with a bent leg is not the easiest but still i love the design overall but for accessories first we get what's supposed to be his five foot curved bow that he has in the comic so nice all gold bow here looks pretty cool with a nice like see-through sort of string for it so that looks pretty cool so let's try and put this into his hand now i didn't pay attention in pictures if yondu was left-handed or anything so i'll just put it in his left hand there for now and then we also get a quiver of arrows so we have the quiver we've had in the past full of arrows and stuff so it's nice all gold design with the red tipped arrows there so that's pretty cool so we can stick this into his back so i'll just clip it on his back there and then we also get an arrow for him as well which is a yaka arrow which is an arrow that can be controlled by a high octave whistle that the centaurs can produce so that kind of explains if you've seen the mcu how yondu whistles and the arrow flies around so that is pretty cool so let's try and put this in his hand see if we can get it like he's shooting the arrow so there's about the best i can get him posed up with the bow and arrow to make it look like he's somewhat shooting it there but pretty cool to have this version of yondu you know like his first appearance design and stuff and looks pretty cool and love that he comes with of course the arrow and stuff that he can control with the whistle and overall just a pretty cool figure in my opinion but as i mentioned in the story he formed up the guardians with vance astro so we have vance astro here as well that we can bring in so we can start the form on the original versions of the guardians of the galaxy which is pretty cool so now we just need some of the other member members like charlie 27 and martin x and stuff but pretty cool to have this original version of yondu now to add to the collection and hopefully we get more of the guardians going forward 
And although it'd be cool if he was Guardians related, so we could have a little Guardians wave here, we've got Ant-Man, which is the Scott Lang version. And he first appeared as Ant-Man in the Marvel premiere number 47 in January 1979. And Scott Lang was an electronic engineer that married Peggy Ray with their daughter of Cassie. And he wasn't making enough money for the family, so he turned to burglary. And eventually Cassie was diagnosed with a heart condition, so he decided to break into Dr. Hank Pym's house to steal the Ant-Man suit so he could use that suit to break into Cross Technology Enterprises to find Dr. Sondheim to be able to fix Cassie. But when he did, he found Dr. Sondheim was being held prisoner by Darren Cross, so Scott defeated Cross and freed Sondheim, who was able to save Cassie's life. He then returned the suit back to Hank Pym's house and turned himself in, but Hank let him keep the suit as he had followed Scott in the Yellow Jacket outfit and saw what he did to save his daughter's life, so he let him keep as long as he lawfully used it. So that's what kind of set up Scott Lang as the Ant-Man, and pretty much similar to what we saw in the Ant-Man movie, you know, very similar thing. So overall, he looks pretty cool here, and he is in the original Ant-Man design. We've had this figure, and I'll show you that in a second, so it's pretty much just the same outfit we've had before. And again, that classic Ant-Man design with the red and the blue with the black details. He has the ant communicator helmet on there. He can wear this and communicate with ants and other insects and stuff, which is pretty cool and has little antennas up on top and his face in there of Scott Lang, so it looks a little bit different than the Hank Pam design. And then he's got the spandex suit, so again, the black that comes down around his neck and down the center with the circle and down to the belt where he's got the pin particles there on his belt and then he's got the blue underwear and blue gloves with the blue boots on his feet and red everywhere else so love this classic design love the classic ant-man design like this so really cool to have him but now it's specifically the scott lang version but let's do his movement so his head can twist all the way around it can look down that far and up that far so pretty decent movements the shoulders can come up to 90 with the butterfly joint back and forth again really far back there and can rotate all the way around we get the bicep twist and the double elbow joint that bends up that far which isn't bad wrist twist around and flex it back and forth then we got the ab crunch so crunch the middle there forward and back so not the best especially back but pretty decent crunching and twist all the way around at the waist and of course move the melt down again then we get the hips that can come up to 90 and out to the side can do the splits there which is pretty crazy and the thigh twist all the way around double knee joint that bends up that far to the back and a shin twist at the top of the boot with the foot that flexes back and forth and twist side to side so pretty decent movements he does have the pin body so we don't have a pin list for this which I was kind of surprised but still works out pretty well overall for him and looks really good at the same time now accessory wise we don't get much of anything for him we just get a set of hands so we have like a more open hand to go along with his right hand there and a fist hand that goes along with his left so just those two versions there so overall pretty cool to have the Scott Lang version of Ant-Man in that classic design and as I mentioned we have had the Hank Pym in this version where I think it was like the retro collection or whatever but we have this Hank Pym there in that exact same outfit design of course it, I thought it was going to be the exact same body but this one's a definitely like a much skinnier body and stuff but there we've got that and definitely love the helmet on this newer version as well compared to this other one but yeah there we have the two versions of Ant-Man in the classic outfit and then we also have the more modern version of Scott Lang so this one looks more like he wears in the movies and stuff with the red and black but there's Scott Lang and his version of the Ant-Man outfit there as well so we have the two versions of Scott Lang there so overall a pretty cool figure like I said there's not a whole lot to it, it would have been cool if he you know came with some sort of ants or some just some additional accessories to go along with him but unfortunately he doesn't but I still love the design overall with the costume design and everything and the body works out really good so I'm really happy with this figure. Well, that's going to be it for this small wave of Marvel Legend exclusive figures where we got the Walmart exclusive Star-Lord and then the Target exclusive Yondu and Ant-Man. So all three of these figures are really cool. Love each version of them. Having like the classic designs, you know, with the original like first appearance for Star-Lord and Yondu and then Scott Lang's first appearance as Ant-Man wearing that old Ant-Man costume as well. So just love all three of these figures. Like this is what I love about Marvel Legends is getting these classic designs and looks and stuff. And overall, the figures work out pretty good. Like I said, I have some issues with Yondu with that leg, unfortunately but we can try and fix that but overall just really happy with these figures so let me know what you thought of them down in the comments and if you enjoyed this review let me know with a thumbs up but i want to thank y'all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review